Hi everyone and Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful and festive day. I love this time of the year, but oftentimes what comes with the season is very dry skin. So I thought I would kind of talk about how uh, wonderful body oil is to kind of help moisturize and rejuvenate skin. And so lately I have really been trying to use um, less products that have a lot of chemicals in them. And part of one of the big changes I made was using almond oil as lotion to kind of like replace it. And so before I was using oil, I was just using regular um, lotion for my body and I was using a face moisturizing cream and I just wake woke up every morning kind of feeling like my skin wanted to crack and I just had to keep applying and reapplying that lotion so it never really gave me any kind of um, permanent relief. But about two months ago, I started using almond oil after my shower so I would just rub it into my skin, including my face, all the way down to my feet. So I would just put it everywhere and my skin hasn't been itchy or dry or bothersome ever since using it. It's really done a wonderful job of moisturizing the skin. I think part of why this works so well is because the oil doesn't clog your pores, which is kind of what I felt like the lotion was doing along with not really serving its purpose. <laughs> I felt like it wasn't even helping me. But yeah, I really recommend trying this out if you're interested, even if you just do it for a week and see kind of like how your skin reacts, I think it would be really beneficial. And I know it can kind of be overwhelming to think of like all these different oils and what to get to kind of start the process. So I'm just gonna simplify it all for you and all of this information is in this, the description box below so you guys can just look at that and not worry about writing anything down. But um, if you wanna use oil as a lotion, there are five different body oils you can use for that purpose. So the first one is almond oil, which is what I've been using. Um, second one would be um, macadamia nut oil, third one is jojoba oil, fourth one is hemp seed oil, and the last one is sea buckthorn oil. So all of those are in the description box, but and you can just choose one of those and use to kind of rub all of your body as a lotion. And all of these oils kind of have a very mild, bland, and kind of natural scent to them. So what you can do is buy yourself an essential oil with a fragrance that you love so that you have plenty of options there and just add a couple drops to your oil, shake that bottle up, and you're set. So for me here, I have, here's my bottle of almond oil. I don't know if you guys can see that, it just says sweet almonds natural skincare oil. And then I have some jasmine fragrance essential oil. I just added it to there and it smells great now. So you can just do that. All you need are these two things if you wanna kinda of create your own more natural body oil lotion. Also just the simplicity of this overall is part of what I love about my body oil because you can use this for so many other different purposes. So not only does it serve as a lotion, but it's also really good to put in your hair as like a um, kind of hair softener slash leave-in conditioner. Um, so actually right before this video, I washed my hair and then I put a little bit of my almond oil on my hand and I kind of rubbed it into the lower half of my hair and you can see that it almost kind of also functions as a hair gel because it kind of helps to keep the shape of your hair if you have more curly or wavy hair. So I was actually like really pleasantly surprised with how it's been working out for me. So it serves also for that purpose. You can put it in your hair. It's also good to rub into your cuticles and it'll kind of help to make your nails a little bit healthier. And it's also a really good makeup remover. So you can just use this with some warm water and a wash rag and just kind of blend it into your face, your eye makeup, wherever, and then splash some warm water and use a warm, well, use your rag, get it wet and underneath the warm water and then use that to kind of get rid of any of your makeup. So it has all of those purposes and then also with any kind of body oil, you can use it to help you shave. Um, I actually prefer to use a uh, olive oil or avocado oil since everyone kind of has it in their kitchen and the scent doesn't matter as much when you're shaving because all of that is just getting, you know, washed away. And that way you can save your body oil for, um, you know, those other purposes which are more helpful anyway and then it'll last you longer. So. Yeah, this has so many different uses and now you don't have to go out and buy 20 different products for all these different parts of your body and so it'll probably save you money in the long run too. So in this last little part of the video, I'm just going to give you guys a couple tips if you are wanting to try this, which I hope you do because I think it's amazing. But um, my first tip is if you are going to go buy yourself an oil, make sure that it's a pure oil and you can easily verify that just by checking the ingredient list. Um, so the first ingredient should be what the bottle is actually labeled as. So I have my almond oil here. The first ingredient on the bottle is almond oil. And after that, the only other thing in here is 
vitamin E. So that's great. Um, when you are looking for oils, I think you kind of want to try to avoid ones that have ingredients like grapeseed oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil because those are actually pretty drying. So if you were to put that in, on your skin, it probably wouldn't be the best. And oftentimes you walk into stores and they have all these different oils and half of them you know, aren't even what they say they are. So just make sure of that. And when it comes to your essential oils, as long as the bottle says essential oil, it should be fine. Mine just on the front says jasmine fragrance. And then if you flip it around, if you wanted to confirm the ingredients, just say jasmine oil. And then under aroma, it just says warm, sweet, and floral. So if you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, you can just look at that. And my second tip is to keep your oil in um, a shady place so most bottles do come in a dark color like this and they probably won't be exposed to the sun but I would just recommend keeping them in a dark place like underneath your sink or honestly probably wherever in your bathroom as long as it's not sitting directly in the sun because the sun can kind of degrade the oils so that's my second tip and then my third tip is if you are going to use um, anything like olive oil or avocado oil to shave you're going to want to make sure that you declog your razor because since oils are thicker than shaving cream, it's gonna kind of get a little stuck in there. So if you could just grab a washcloth and your razor and kind of um, declog it by pushing the razor against the washcloth in the direction of the blade. So if you just do this a couple times, anything that's stuck in there will just come out. You can rinse it off, shave, and then repeat that whole process. So that's the information that I have for you all today on using body oil. It really does an amazing job as a lotion along with all those other uses that I talked about. So if you're looking to kind of simplify your skincare routine, it's a good option for that. And if you are wanting to try this, then go ahead and check out the links in the description box and they're all there for you if you want to check out those products. You can also go to a store like Whole Foods, which is actually where I got mine from. And it really, you know, has made my skin feel so much more moist and also soft, which I think is kind of a combination of using this and also changing my shower routine, which I will share with you guys in my next appearance slash self-care video so you guys can tune into that. And please let me know what you think if you do end up trying this and, you know, you can let me know if you, your skin's feeling any better. I'm like a huge proponent of this body oil thing now, so you guys can let me know. And thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next Tuesday.